Buster's Growing Grudge One night, Buster had a decision to make. Oh, Bionic Bunny is on TV. I love this show. But I have homework to do. Well, I'll just do my homework afterward. I mean, how hard can a history report be? How hard do you think Buster worked on his report? Hey, Buster, how did your history project turn out? Mine's kind of weak, but I came up with a great joke for it. A joke for your history report? Yeah, this ad on TV said that the difference between a successful speech and a failure is to start with a joke. Binky, can I try out a joke on you? Sure. Okay, what did King Tut say when he got scared? I want my mummy. <laughs> you made that up? Good one. <laughs> this is going to be my best report ever. That joke will guarantee me an A. And that's why Christopher Columbus is my favorite historical figure. I'm next. Wish me luck. Oh, and you know what King Tut said when he got scared? I want my mummy. He told my joke. I can't believe it. He told my joke. Quiet, please. Mr. Baxter, please step up and read your report. It was mine. My joke. He told my joke. Um, my report is about King Tut. Hey, what do you call two banana peels? A, A pair, pair of slippers. <laughs> How do you think Buster feels? Why? Did Binky steal Buster's joke on purpose? Why do you think that? Would you be angry if you were Buster? Why? He told my joke! That was mine! I made it up and everything! Yeah, that was bad. Binky shouldn't have done that. He was wrong to do it! He told my joke! So, Buster, what did you get on your history report? Mr. Ratburn gave me a D. D for disaster. D for deadly. D for Binky told my joke. Oh, it's all Binky's fault. I win again. Are you paying attention? It was my joke. Uh-oh. It looks like Buster has a grudge. A grudge can appear when someone can't forgive someone else. This grudge reminds Buster of how mad he is at Binky and makes it hard for him to concentrate. If it gets too big, the grudge could make him be mean to Arthur, Francine, and all his other friends, too. Binky's report was about Columbus. Who ends a Columbus report with a joke about King Tut? Binky does. Now shush. Oh, no. Buster's grudge is growing again. Why is Buster acting like this? What should Buster do about how he's feeling? How do Buster's friends feel right now? So what if people think Binky's funny? Binky doesn't care about funny. It's me who cares about funny. You know how long I worked on that King Tut joke? A lot longer than you worked on your report. Buster, you're spending way too much time thinking about Binky. It won't matter after the talent show tomorrow. I'll show him. He'll be sorry he stole my joke. Now Buster's grudge is growing even bigger. Why do you think Buster's grudge is growing? What do you think Buster's going to do at the talent show? And now, the comedy stylings of Buster Baxter. At least while he's telling jokes, Buster won't be talking about Binky. Yeah, I think he's gotten over it. There's a kid in my class named Binky Barnes. Oh, no! Binky wrote a history report about Columbus. I wrote a report about King Tut. And I wrote a good King Tut joke to open my report with. Because when you speak, you should open with a joke. But Binky told my King Tut joke in his Columbus report. Everybody laughed. But you know what the real punchline was? He told my joke that I wrote, and I got a D. I can't believe it. No one laughed. No one laughed? You didn't tell a single joke. 
This is all Binky's fault. Buster is still holding a grudge against Binky. I think Buster may never forgive him. Oh no, Buster's grudge is so big now, it's weighing him down. Buster is still holding his grudge. He can't stop thinking about Binky and that joke. Here are some things that Buster could do. Figure out which choices will allow Buster to forgive Binky and get rid of the grudge. Ta talk to Binky. Binky, you might not know this, but that joke was very important to me. When you told it to the class before I did, it felt like you had stolen it from me. Calmly telling Binky how I feel made me feel a bit better. Buster is still holding his grudge. Think about himself. This one time, I called Francine a bossy boots. That really hurt her feelings. I felt terrible about it. So I guess if I've made mistakes, I should forgive others who make mistakes. When I remember that even I have hurt people's feelings, I realize that I would want someone to forgive me, too. Doing those things was a good idea. My grudge is smaller. I'm actually feeling much better now. I'm going to forgive Binky. He probably just liked my joke. Tap your choice. I feel much better now that I've forgiven Binky. Why do you think it was so hard for me to get rid of my grudge? Carrying a grudge hurt me, and my friends, too. What do you think helped me feel better the most? What could I have done sooner? Why do you think it's important to forgive others?